Oh, wow. He actually has a set of these? Oh, <laughs> what is it? Oh my God. Why is there a dinosaur here? Well, uh, I'm a lizard. No. Um, no. You look like a T-Rex to me. Well, well my, my, my mother just told me that I'm just big boned. <laughs> Don't go there. It's not that funny. It really isn't. Anyway, it's a Panasonic blood diamond switch. Oh, um, so, uh, the, uh why, why is it called a, a blood diamond? <laughs> well, the production of these micro switches was halted some time ago. And, well, they're really rare to find now. Unless you want to sell your third nut sack. What? Wait, what? What? You don't have three balls? Well, uh, um, where did the uh, blood diamond name uh, like, uh, come, come from? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I thought it was a silly name altogether. But it's better than menstrual rocks. Uh, you, uh, you know, uh, that's pretty gross, man. <laughs> well... You ask. Well, um, what, what's so special about them? <laughs> they are 180 gram micro switches and have been praised by many to be the best switch due to them being perfectly sensitive, tactile, and satisfyingly clicky. Well, uh, so, uh, little orange kitty cat, um, uh, well, why are you talking about them if they're uh, as, as so hard to find? <laughs> Because, well, I have no nuts to give. Ah, TMI. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do the short hinge mod. This switch is absolutely epic, especially for levers like Bandit Sandrix V3. <laughs> Give you a heads up this kooky bastard is streaming on twitch every tuesday at 3 p.m and every sunday at 4 p.m pacific standard time we're gonna be doing things like arcade stick modding and wiring and playing fighting games and acting like a turd why because we can follow me in the description dot box below and well that's a great old time oh and one more thing i also have a discord I know, scary, right? Anyway, the link is in the description box below. Click on that to come and join. We're gonna talk about things like balls and shafts and sticks and... I swear it's not affiliated with Brazers. But anyway, come check it out. We set up lobbies for fighting games. We talk about arcade sticks, movies, all the cool stuff. I hope to see you there. Now, without further ado, we will need a Gerson. A Gersung A3 switch. We're gonna be ganking the spring out of this guy. These are the soft AM5s. They have approximately 120 gram spring in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out that spring with the 180 gram spring from our Gersung switch. You can currently get these on the Focus Attack website. The link will be in the description box below. First, let's take our Gersung A3. We need to retrieve the spring from here. All right, now you're gonna to need to find the seam of the switch. Use your fingernails to pry this sucker open, or you can use a really, really, really thin flathead screwdriver. Either one works, just make be careful not to break it. Once you get the switch apart, you're gonna find the bottom connector. You're gonna to wanna to wiggle it a bit, kinda of semi-violently, but be careful. But you wanna shake it around so that way it gets a little bit nauseous and it regurgitates all the parts onto your pad. Now, the rest of these parts are absolutely unnecessary for this mod. You can save them if you like, or chuck them at somebody you don't like. What we are gonna need is this bent piece of metal that kind of looks like an archway. Save that, this is our spring. Now, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the soft AM5. Find the seam, open this guy up with your fingernails, or that little tiny flap head that you have handy, and get the top open. Now, it may be helpful to take a picture of the inside of the component so that way you know and you can reference where everything goes on the inside of the micro switch. 
But in the case scenario of this video, I'm gonna show you the order of operation on where everything goes and how to put everything back together. You're welcome. Take the hinge and put that in a safe place, which hopefully your safe place is a safe place. Then you're gonna take the pin of the switch. Also put that in said safe place. Now, you're gonna push down on the bottom connector, much like the other switch, wiggle it a bit, make it vomit onto the pad. Keep the orientation of the switch upright because it makes it easier to remember where everything goes. Now, grab the old spring from the AM5 and chuck that motherfucker at your neighbor because this son of a bitch keeps playing his goddamn piano at two o'clock in the morning. Fucker. Sorry, I had a momentary lapse in judgment. Kick rocks, dipshit! Anyway, we have four main pieces of our assembly. And there are more parts, but these are the main ones that we're gonna need to get the sucker back together. Now, let's start with the staircase. Grab it by the long end first, which is the connector piece. When you look at the staircase from the side, you should see two distinct holes. The top hole and the bottom hole. Stop being weird. Now, you're gonna grab the piece that looks like one of those weird creeper Minecraft boner things. Trust me, once you see it, you can't unsee it. You're gonna grab it by the bent piece. You want that bent piece pointed up. You'll notice there is a niblet. Yes, I said niblet. You want said niblet to go in the bottom hole of your staircase. Now the staircase looks like a screaming snake that just got stepped on. Don't call Pete on me. I'm not the one that wrote this shit. Now it's gonna be time to grab our spring. You'll notice that on the spring has a couple of nibs. Now the left nib is going to go in the top hole of our staircase and the spring should be erect, curving to the right. You are now holding three pieces together with your thumb. The staircase, our Minecraft boner dude, and the spring that is now erect. You are now gonna grab the rectangular piece that has little ridges. Those ridges should be facing up. You'll notice to the bottom right, there is a nipple. Not a real nipple, but a nipple. And that nipple should be facing down. Not to get into the logistics on how the switch works, but that is our connector piece that when it touches the other nipple, things happen. To the left of our nipple on the rectangular piece, there'll be little lips that will accommodate the nib of our spring archway. Loop that sucker around that spring and slowly pinch everything together. Now pinch and hold everything with your fingers so nothing falls apart. You're now ready to put this entire apparatus back into the switch body. Once you have the four metal pieces back into the switch body, depress the spring and reinsert the pin plunger. Now it's time to take our short hinge and reinstall it. It's gonna go into the first slot from the right of the switch. Now grab the cover for the switch. You'll know that it's facing the right direction when you see the two little notches that should be facing up towards the lever. Congratulations, yay! You have now modded your first switch that's gonna have a similar feel, sound, and tactility as a blood diamond switch. Now do it to three others and you're ready to rock and roll. These types of switches can be used in most levers that can accommodate a short hinge switch. One last thing I forgot to mention, the measurements given earlier on in the video are purely approximations, and those are on its stock value, whether it be a short hinge or a long hinge. So obviously if you change the lever angle or if you use it just as a pin plunger, you're gonna get different measurements. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys soon. Oh, hey, would you look at that? That cookie bastard's been busy. Oh, yeah! Pixel, stay out of the Carolina Reapers. Hey, do me a favor. Slap me a Fonz, hit that subscribe button, and ding-a-ding-dong that bell for all the crazy shit we do here.